Yo, Yo, what's up everybody? It is level three lockdown for us here in Auckland at the moment, which means we can't go traveling around outside of Auckland, but we wanted to keep making videos for you guys, so. Yeah, what we've done is a top five places to visit here in the North Island of New Zealand. Yen and I grew up here, and so we've got a little bit of knowledge of what's good. <laughs> we've traveled around heaps before, and it's a question that we get asked a lot. So without further ado, let's get into it. So it was pretty hard for Yen and I to put this list together because there's so many great places to visit here in the North Island. But in no particular order, here's the first one. Blue Springs Putaruru. In one of our recent road trips, you might have seen it in our vlog, that place is magical. Yes. Really blue, clear water, and it just looks amazing, like a different world. It's also central North Island, which means it's easy to get to from other popular destinations. And it's just like one of those hidden, untouched gem kind of beautiful places. Yeah, there's so much lush greenery that's flowing yeah. throughout the rivers. And there's all the native birds as well that are just flying by. So it really feels like you're in a tranquil paradise. It's also really easy to walk and get to as well. Just a couple of minutes and you're there. Yeah, unless you want to do more of a longer walk, that's right, you, you can, can do, do that, that too. <laughs> there's a three hour walk and there's like a 30 minute walk. Second up on this list is a place that Blue Springs is really near to, and that is... Rotorua. It's one of the most iconic places here in New Zealand, and it's one place that Yen and I have been going to since we're little kids. So if you've got any family or friends that come visiting here from overseas, you know you take them. you got to take them to Rotorua. you got to show them some Māori culture, which you can find there in the Māori village, as well as seeing some of the most iconic sites here in New Zealand, such as like the geothermal pools, the mud pools, or even get a soak in one of the hot pools. There's a lot of pools. There's a lot of pools. <laughs> but Rotorua is much more than pools. There are so many things that you can see and do there, and there's something for everyone. Families, adrenaline seekers, Yay! nature lovers. Rotorua's got you covered. Even recently, we discovered something that was totally new to Yen and I, which was the Redwoods Tree Walk, which was absolutely amazing. Rotorua, definitely got to check it out. <laughs> which brings us to number three on this list, and this one's a little bit of a cheat because it is a region in the North Island, and that is Hawke's Bay. When Yen and I visited Hawke's Bay, we were totally blown away by the area from Napier, which has the amazing Art Deco buildings and just so many different things to see and do as well yeah, in the, the city parade. itself. As well as the National Aquarium, the MTG, which is the Museum, Theatre and Gallery. And also there were things that we really wanted to come back to do, such mm -hmm. as Cape Kidnappers, but we'll probably be there next Hopefully summer. summer. <laughs> yeah. As well as Napier, you've also got places like Hastings, which is another city in very close proximity. Mm -hmm. And in Havelock North, you've got the amazing sites that you're going to be able to find on Tem Mata Peak. That place is incredible. Just a stunning, stunning location. Yes. And that's just like kind of touching on a few of the different things that you can do in Hawke's Bay. Forgot to even mention, there's beautiful wineries where you can get good food and great sights as well. So Very true. So, Hawke's, Hawke's Bay, <laughs> lots of things. And if you're at Hawke's Bay, you might as well head over to the next spot as well because it's pretty close by. Number four on the list. Gisborne. This place is a real hidden gem. Had to include it on our list because we absolutely loved the activities that we did there so far, which was feeding the stingrays out on the beach, as well as rail bikes. That was the coolest activity I think we've done in a while. Definitely, amazing experience, yeah, and so it beautiful. Feels like quite a hidden gem because we had so many people comment on our video that they live in Gizzy, but didn't even realize that it was there. And Gisborne is the first city to see the new dawn every single day, which brings us to our final number five. And I'm sorry, the rest of New Zealand that lives outside of Auckland, please don't hate us for this, but we have to put Auckland onto this top five list. Yen and I both grew up there, and so there might be a little bit of a bias, but we really do think that Auckland has had some amazing sights, has some amazing food, and if you're coming to New Zealand, you're gonna probably stop off in That's Auckland right. anyway. <laughs> So personally for me, one of my favorite places to visit every single year in Auckland, Waiheke Island. It's kind of like a getaway in Auckland that Ooh, also yeah. feels like you're out of Auckland, but you're still in Auckland. Yes. <laughs> Cause, probably because it's a 40 minute ferry ride 
from Auckland city itself over to the island and you totally feel like you're in a different place. You really do. It's awesome in summertime. Yeah, especially summertime because it's subtropical so it's got that warmth but you're all surrounded by water because it is a tiny little island. Um, you've got beautiful wineries, the scenery there is amazing and it feels totally different from the scenery in Auckland itself. It does indeed. But other reasons why we love Auckland too is that even though it is the biggest city here in New Zealand, so you've got all your regular, you know, malls and whatever that kind of stuff, there's also a lot of nature too. Yeah, it's a quick drive in any single direction, north, south, east or west, and you're gonna find something absolutely beautiful Guarantee you. Whether it's beautiful beaches, rural countryside, rolling farmland, or amazing forestry, you've got that all here in Auckland. Yeah, don't forget also about being, because Auckland is so multicultural, there's so much variety in food as well, which is fantastic because if you like food from different kind of culinary delights, you're covered here. And even though this is a small city on a global scale, there's so much different stuff to see and do. It's definitely worth checking out if you're visiting North Island. Had to make the list. <laughs> So we've got a couple of bonus items for you guys we as well. Help ourselves. We're yeah. just trying to squeeze this in. These are kind of like Yen and myself's <laughs> pet favorites, but for all you Lord of the Rings and Hobbit fans and people who have that little bit of geek inside themselves, <laughs> I recommend Matamata Hobbiton especially. We had an amazing experience being able to see Bulbo Baggins in Sam's house and also being able to eat at the Green Dragon Inn. I was totally on like, you know like, I don't know, Yen really loves Harry Potter, right? I so I, I imagine the one day that we finally get to see Harry Potter world, Yen's gonna have that inner child Probably. brought out of her. That's what I was like when I was at the Lord of the Rings uh, Hobbiton movie set. It was just an amazing experience. And for me, my bonus pick is Cape Renga. The reason for this is it's the top most accessible point of New Zealand. You've got that iconic lighthouse there and you just stand and look out at the incredible oceans. It is a stunning location. And because you're right at the top, you've got to come back down anyway. So you're going to go through Northland and you'll get to see 90 Mile Beach and Hokianga where you can go visit Tani Mahuta. The world's largest koli tree. Yeah, and I know this is probably just squeezing in so many places, but you know. Yeah, this is a bit of a <laughs> shit. You just named three places in your last little bonus. <laughs> anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed this episode and it's given you a couple of ideas for where to visit around the North Island of New Zealand. And if you enjoyed this video, we do hope that you will give us those likes subscribe if you haven't already drop us a comment love hearing from you all and we will catch you next time yeah and we'll also uh, bring you guys one from top five things oh, yeah. in the south island once we've done a little bit more of the south island as well <laughs> stay safe and take care everyone see ya bye